Hi everyone, I have an art journal here for you today. So, um, I, my intent with this one is to look pretty much like by art journals, like paper-like, so kind of the same style. But at the same time, when I'm doing digital, I like to give a flat of digital because that's the beauty about being doing digital. There is, you know, the possibilities are endless. Let's start it here. I start always it by 10. You can do square, um, whatever you feel is best for you. Usually these art journals, I like to do eight by 10 because later I can put them in a book and it's gonna be good to go, good to print. Um, usually I print them with Google um, Photos. Uh, they do a pretty decent job. As always, I would like to point out that art journals are something to express yourself something you've been feeling, something you've been dealing with, or you just want to relax, or you just want to have fun, and um, you can't work whatever is in your heart. It can be grateful, you can be, you know, something that you're grateful for, something they're working on. One thing that I would like to introduce today is if you use a pen tablet, I'm using the X Pen. You can skip this if you don't have a pen tablet, okay? So I'm going here to Photoshop brushes and I, these are the brushes that come with Photoshop. And Photoshop has some, let's use this stack. I'm just looking for a pencil. So let's use the stack pen I have here. So you can start thinking about things that you are grateful for or um, words that are in your mind and things you want to get um, accomplished, okay? So I just wrote some things that I, I needed a moment to hear from myself. I think kind of like affirmations for myself, but you can maybe put a name of a person or, you know, something that is going on. It doesn't matter. This is, this just as we do on paper, this is, this is not going to be showing, right? This is going to be completely um, hidden by the time we finish this. But it's something to work on um, because even when you're doing digital, it can be healing for you. So I want to start the base here to look at very... Um, realistic so let's start here with my acrylic textures um, we're gonna be using a lot of techniques here in terms of painting so um, kind of working on your brushwork and things like that so I don't know if I want to show all this so I'm going to mask and I'm going now use my acrylic set probably Yes, just a regular. These are mixed br uh, mixer brushes. I want to use the regular acrylic paints, okay? So in black, I'm just going to remove some of this. I'm going to reduce opacity. Okay, so new layer now. And I want to work now with my um, styles. First, I want to use this butter, butter and pastel here to create a kind of background. So because I have texts and really nice things on this in pastel here, textures. Here, let me put another layer. I forgot if you want to. I'm gonna put a little bit of crackle here, just some texture there. And maybe we'll reduce all that, who knows, right? But we have my text here. You can cover it totally if you want, but by the time I think we're gonna be done with this. And script to blue. I want a, a central piece here. So something that I do a lot on my paper, um, my paper um, 
our journal and I actually gonna put a link of my other YouTube that I do that I don't do that as often as I, I don't post videos anymore as often there because it's a lot of work to to film real stuff real paint and all that but I'll put there for you to see some of it I work a lot of magazines like I take pictures of I receive garden magazines so I take the pictures and I do my art journals I'm gonna show you here if you have the new Adobe CC Photoshop 22 you know that there is um, AI now with um, Photoshop so I want a I don't have a magazine I don't want to go to a website and that's the great thing about it I just want to continue to work here and grab a picture and don't have to worry about it and now Photoshop can do this for you in Photoshop you don't need to go anywhere I just need to tell Photoshop where I want this picture to go it can be anything I have a tendency to use flowers when I'm doing the magazines, but um, you can do anything that is better for you. So you put, of course, you can change the place later, but I just want to say the size that I want this picture to be. Let me do a little bit bigger. I am on a new layer and I'm click generate view and I'm going to say peony flower and leaves in a white background and we wait to see what's gonna bring to us sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't <laughs> oh this is really great so and as you can see here it gives options so you can see I want this or I want this or I want this one I want this one okay so I like this one so I'm gonna keep this one I will apply layer mask so that's what I did here apply the layer mask so we now have the picture here okay so as you can see it because I have a background here it kind of put on top of my background and it has my background there so what I what I want to do, I want to reduce, I want to remove this background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the layers in the background. Okay. And I'm now going to do select subject. Perfect. And put a mask. And now I have a clean flower and apply layer mask. Okay. That looks great. I can, I will make a copy just in case you know always make a copy when you don't know if things gonna work out for you and let's go to the filters and uh, let's go to the filter gallery and I already have a combination here for my previous um, tutorial yeah I like this here but let me add something else here and I'll go to sketch I think I'll do this in a separate one and I'll show you guys what I do. So I like this here. I'll leave it okay. Okay. And I want to use this one here. I'm going to go to filter now. That's why it's always good to have a copy. And I'm going to delete all this. And I'm just going to leave this sketch and see what sketch I want to use. I think I'll do graphic pen. Let me see, charcoal. And I will give it OK. So I'll put this on top. And let me align this. And let's now use blend mode. So you see that it just gives the strokes there. So let's put all this in a folder. And let's put this work here on a folder the um, style and can try to see if this will blend here I'm blending the folder right now I like this one here so what I will do now I'll do command option shift E I have a copy 
So now I'm gonna bring everything back because so I come here to the acrylic brush, I'll make it bigger, and I'm gonna blend this. Um mix put a high mix. What I will do, I will just Okay, that was too wet. I just wanna blend off the paper here. It's just to seem that we painted. It's not perfect, okay? Okay. So now I wanna incorporate this because right now it looks like this is on top of it and I don't want that, right? So then we have to start painting around it. Okay, so let's do some stenciling. I'm gonna come here and grab this mask here. Okay, and I'm going to Option Alt, select, go to a new layer. And I'm gonna go to a darker change my brush. Okay. And on a new layer I'm going to brush it. And if you see right now, you know it's brushed off it there. So I'm gonna come in control D and then you can see better. So this is the brushed. And then again come here and then just erase this a little bit. And I'm gonna use that same mask here. I'm gonna now bring it to the other side. Oops. So I'm gonna again command con command control and select and inverse and I'm gonna go to a new layer to the brush and to the opposite. Okay, so you can see there command control G and you can see there. Now I can take this here, duplicate, you know, make it this a little more concise. Okay, so we start having this kind of on top of the flower and mixing. And I can now come here. Let's go to elements. Mix major pieces. It's one of my favorite things because it has a lot of good stuff on it that is proper for our journal. So um, let's bring this piece of paper here because you know our journal is a lot of collage as well. It's not just painting. It depends. I I have to say some people do very collage like. I do mostly more painted like, but I love to have some collage with it. So. Let's put underneath here to see what happens. Okay, so we have that there. I don't like it to have right now a uh, shadow because again, I don't want it to look like a scrapbook. So let's keep going as it is and then we see what happens. I want to bring some gesso texture. So I'm gonna come here and I love this one. Okay, so I'm gonna put a mask on this one. Erase that. Make sure you're on the mask. So I'll bring that flower back. But now that I know where the flower is, I can actually do the reverse, okay? I want to bring my other paper. I'm going to now reduce my opacity and X and I'm just gonna 
bring some of this back do you see I'm doing like around it okay give that very um let me take this one grunge look stamped look somebody blood I think something that you can add as well is your if you have a pen that's what is great about it is you can use your own um, your own personal things and and writing but we're gonna do that on another last one the one that is to be too long but let's do here um, words that we I need right now so you put whatever you think it's good for you one called capture two I'm going to underneath it to paint them a little bit so I'm gonna go here first let me put it and I'm gonna go paintbrush that's it I want it white I don't have to use a shadow because it's an art um, piece. So I think that it's a good art page. So you can see I did a lot of stuff there and we used Photoshop Firefly to kind of um, bring that photo for us. So that is something that you can do. And with the Adobe here, they are um, licensed through Adobe. So you can use on your personal use here so um i hope you enjoy if you have any questions let me know let me know what's in the comments if you'd like to see more art journal pages and i'll be back soon with another video for you thank you
Hi everyone, Jenna here. I bring in this video a tip for you about brushes. Uh, the difference of flow in the brush and opacity and um, all of that that I wanted to explain for you here. Okay, so first, when you grab a brush and let me grab one of my brushes here. This is the Photoshop brushes. Let's do this acrylic here. Yeah. You can see here that there are, um, you can see there is a menu here that has opacity and flow and all these kind of things. Okay. So what I wanted to explain to you is a brush here. If you make the analogy of a real brush in real life, if you grab a brush that has a lot of paint, then it's going to be full of paint. But then if you pick up just a little paint, it's going to have just a little paint. But if you put in water and then you grab paint, maybe the flow or the opacity of that paint is not going to be a lot, right? And the flow is how much of paint is going through the strokes. So let's let's get that it started so you can understand. So I'll put a very dark, um, maybe blue here. So let's talk about opacity, okay? So I'm first gonna put a opaque line here. And let's talk about opacity. So if you have a brush that is full percent opacity, right, it's going to cover through that line, right? You're not going to see it. But if you have a brush that is 50% opacity, you can see that you can see more the background than the brush. So that can be the difference there. So we have a brush that is 50% opacity, 80% opacity, and full percent opacity. Okay, so let me grab a regular brush here because the, my brushes have some kind of textures. So let me grab a Photoshop basic brush. So let's get here. Um, legacy brushes okay basic uh, let's get here the hard mechanical so again we have 100% opacity and then you have 71 and then you have 41 then you can see the opacity level there okay so if we go to flow is how much of actual paint you have that paint is not diluted with water for example right because if you dilute with water a regular paint is going to make it more translucent and that is what opacity is but if you have flow it's how much of that paint there is in the tip of the brush and photoshop says that as it's the same thing on, on real on real thing is that it's how much of that brush you have on the tip so if you have 100 percent and 100 percent flow and i wanted to notice here if i have 48 percent flow It starts to be like that because I don't have enough paint on the tip of my brush. Okay, so if I reduce to 30%, then it's going to be even less on the tip of the brush, which is different than when it's op you know translucent. All the tips have the same translucent paint. But when you don't have flow, you don't have the same amount of paint in the flow of the brush. 
So that is what makes the difference. Okay. So the same way if we have a rectangle here, and this rectangle is, uh, let me put another one here on top. Let's talk about now opacity here. So if this rectangle on top is 50%, it becomes transparent at 50% and you can see 50% of the one that is underneath. Okay. But when you have a fill, the fill can be 50%. So you see the difference here in the fill, it's the amount inside of that space is 50% now, instead of just being transparent. Okay, so let me put both of them. Let me repeat this here. Okay. So this one here, is with 50% my flow is low 50% fill okay and so if I go back to the second one here my fill is a hundred but then let's reduce the opacity Oh, no, it's the opposite. Okay, wait. Um, so this one here is 50% fuel, right? And this one on top is now 50% opacity. With this, it's hard to see because it's just it's just a even paper, even color. But sometimes when we are creating things that have texture, you want a little bit of that feel to be less, but you don't necessarily want them to be transparent. Okay. But sometimes they have the same, the same um, result. But if I like to play with the feel and the opacity, because many times is depends on the texture of the paper. Okay, so I hope that was a little clear, but it's just so we can understand when we are doing brush work, um, the kind of difference, but especially um, with brush work is especially very useful to understand the difference between opacity and flow. So remember the flow is always think about a bucket of paint and you put the brush inside the paint is how much of paint there is in that brush, right? While opacity is, are you diluting the paint with water or any medium that is going to make that paint more translucent? Okay. So that's what you have to think about and that'll help you on your brush work. Okay. So I hope to see you next time. And this was just a tip, quick tip video for you. Thank you.